This is how Thoth looks, Archangel Raphael, creator of the universe, God the good, loves you Cancer. September is the month of the angelic frequencies of the gemstone sapphire. Your birthstone is ruby Cancer, so what we need to do is see how these two gemstones resonate with each other. I'm Pastor Rosemary, the Astrology Angel. Thank you for joining us. If you'd like to learn how to contact me, please visit my website at www.readingsbyrosemary.com. We provide you with all the information necessary on how you can obtain one of our spiritual consultations, Psychic Astrology, Rosicrucian Kabbalah, as well as classes and upcoming seminars, and everything from Kabbalah to practical magic to white ceremonial magic, also, and that's high magic, ceremonial magic. Also, we teach Merkaba, and we have our own system that we teach. However, uh, if you want to brush up on your on some of your Merkaba skills, Mer means rotating fields of light, Ka spirit, and Ba soul. You can get this wonderful book called The Ancient Secrets of the Flower of Life, and uh, this book is by. The gentleman Drunvalo uh, There's This is volume one, and there's also a volume two. Again, the ancient secret of the flower of life, volume two. There's a flower of life here on the on the front, and here is a picture of Drunvalo Mechizedek, the author of the book. So these are very important books to get. Again, that can give you a heads up on studying Merkaba. Again, we have our own uh, distinct system and technique. However, there are many people who have been teaching Merkaba, but Drembolo Malkizadek, this author, is a very prolific author and a very knowledgeable person. And uh, I was privileged enough to go to one of his uh, presentations in Honolulu several years ago when he was in Honolulu. That was one of the best seminars I have ever been to was uh, Mr. Uh, Drumblo Machizadek's uh, Ancient Secret of the Flower of Life workshop and seminar. So that's a wonderful book to get. Now, regarding September's gemstones of Sapphire, Sapphire has the light emanations of the astrology archangel Hamaliel and your zodiac sign gemstone of ruby has the properties of light bestowed by the zodiac archangel Muriel Muriel so understand that uh, ruby is your your gemstone and for Virgo in September sapphire because we're saying Virgo because it's natural sixth house because that is the uh, the month of September, the representation, representation. Now, your ruling planet is the moon, Cancer. Moonstones or pearls are the precious stones used to align oneself with the energies of the planetary angel Gabriel, who is assigned to the ancient quote-unquote planet, Luna, in Kabbalah, who bestows powerful emotions which come from the heart, more powerful than any logic of the mind, who, like all angelic beings, provide the human creature with varying levels of compassion, mercy, consideration, leniency, correction, and severity. So be very mindful of your own power when utilizing these potent gemstones in unison with each other. Now, we're going to be talking quite a bit about Kabbalah. And so this is a presentation, a uh, representation that is uh, found in many, many books on Kabbalah. And it's found in, in, in many of the standard books. Uh, so it's especially those that are, that are uh, Rosicrucian-like or Golden Dawn style, those types of, of works feature these uh, very um, helpful artistic endeavors. Now this is a picture of the tree of life again in a more uh, and, and and there's there's two trees, the knowledge of uh, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and the tree of life. But we're gonna sort of talk about both because there's one tree but when you see the other side of the coin then you see the knowledge of good and evil. Basically the will to receive and the will to bestow. And so you know when we get into and there there's a lot of information about that and how 
there's various ways of looking at how creation occurs. There's a way that is that uh, in this book it it talks about uh, the the various methods of how the original consciousness or light recreates itself because there's different ways to do that. One he mentions is by going from one place to another. Uh, Mr. Drumble and Malkizadek mentions that in this book, The Ancient Secret of the Flower of Life. And he also mentions that uh, another way is that it splits. So, you know, that's very much similar to when people talk about cellular function. So very, very, very important books. Uh, now, this, again, this is the, the uh, supernal sephiroth of of Chochmah and Benah and Keter and the Holy Garden Age, Angel Knowledge and Conversation with the Holy Garden Angel, the Invisible Sephir of the Ath, the Third Chakra, the Brain. We have, uh, uh, this is uh, Chesed, uh, the Chesed, the, the Sephir of Chesed, this Mercy, Severity, Gebura, War, Chesed, Courage. We have, uh, we have here Tiferet. We have here, this is Netzach, Hod, Yesod, and this is Malkut, and this is the Klipot. See, we have we have here Yesod, where the moon resides, and you're ruled by the moon. So this is where Archangel Gabriel resides, and uh, Raphael resides here. And we're going to be talking a lot about Archangel Raphael during this presentation because in September we have Virgo attributes or natural sixth house attributes and that has to do with health and habits and that has to do with the mercurial attributes. The mercurial attributes are found here and the mercury is assigned to uh, various correspondences such as the, the Egyptian god Thoth, the Egyptian god Thoth, also the, the Archangel Raphael, Archangel Raphael, also attributed to, again, the, uh, the god Mercury, the winged messenger, and also Hermes Trismegistus for the Greek representation and for the more modern gospel type representation, the Apostle Paul is among these very intelligent, imaginative and intelligent, imagination is important, and intelligent uh, frequencies of the mercurial frequencies, again, that would be activated always during September during September. They say that always is something that women say too much. <laughs> so forgive me for that. Okay. Now, again, sapphire for the, the angelic frequencies of Virgo, Zodiac Angel, Hamaliel, and Ruby for the frequencies of Muriel for the sign of Cancer. Okay. So, Re regarding the the moonstones and the pearls, uh, this is when you want to want to keep in mind that Kabbalah will help you understand that Gabriel is a an angel again who resides over water signs of which you're cardinal water, but also he bestows uh, powerful emotions which come from the heart, more powerful than any logic of the mind, who, like all angelic beings, provide the human creature with the varying levels that we talked about, the varying levels of different kinds of angelic uh, attributes, all of the kindness and, and all of the, the restriction and all the various levels of angelic attributes and qualities. Now Gabriel is a planetary archangel again of Luna or the moon in Kabbalah. This is from Kabbalah acclaimed in all Abrahamic faiths. Abrahamic faiths are in the Zohar, the book of the Zohar, the main Kabbalistic book, the Zohar is important to the Abrahamic faiths of Judaism and Christianity and Islam. Now in the Prophecy of Daniel, chapter 8, verses 15 to 16, the Dewey Rames Bible reads, And it came to pass when I, Daniel, saw the vision and sought the meaning, that, behold, there stood before me, as it were, the appearance of a man, and I heard the voice of a man between Uli, and he called and said, Gabriel, make this man to understand the vision. Then the prophet Daniel continues in, in uh, chapter uh, that's chapter 
9, verses 21 to 22, again in the Dewey Rames Bible translation, we read, As I was yet speaking in prayer, behold, the man Gabriel, whom I had seen in the vision at the beginning, flying swiftly, touched me at the time of the evening sacrifice. And he instructed me and spoke to me and said, O Daniel, I am now come forth to teach thee, and that thou mightest understand. Archangel Gabriel is also mentioned in the New Testament. We read in St. Luke's Gospel, chapter 1, verse 26 in the Dewey Rames Bible, and in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God into a city of Galilee called Nazareth. In First Enoch, we read in chapter 9, verses 1 to 3, and when Michael, Uriel, Raphael, and Gabriel looked down from heaven and saw much blood being shed upon the earth and all lawlessness being wrought upon the earth, and they said one to another, The earth made without inhabitant cries the voice of their crying up to the gates of heaven. And now to you, the holy ones of heaven, the souls of men, make their suit, saying, Bring our cause before the Most High. The moon is known as the attribute of God the Mother, found in Isaiah chapter 30, verse 26 in the Dewey Rames Bible. And the light of the moon shall be as the light of the sun, and the light of the sun shall be sevenfold as the light of seven days in the day when the Lord shall bind up the wound of his people and shall heal the stroke of their wound. Uh, this has various meanings, but the scripture, from, the scripture from the book of Isaiah is actually the giveaway of the secret to deciphering the Torah code by getting rid of the spaces between the letters which are also numbers giving rise to the way to accomplish the great work of immortality that's the great alchemical work and this is uh, there are many many uh, books and videos uh, YouTube videos and 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 all kinds of of books and websites dedicated to Bible codes and Torah codes. The first time we ever came across this thing was many moons ago in the in the 90s, and there was a, a book that I read that I loved that I bought several times and gave to some of my friends called uh, Bible Code, the Bible Code by Michael Drosnin. So that's a wonderful book to get started with the the Bible Code. That's a wonderful in the Torah codes and to understand all these things. Now, your water guarding archangel Gabriel speaks to you from your Cancer Astrology Archangel Muriel. This is an angelic horoscope transmission from your Cancer Zodiac Angel Muriel, who resides over the crab's cardinal water nature, and these are his messages for you in the areas of love, money, and health. Remember, Gabriel rules over all the water signs and is the archangel of the West, who rules over the cold, wet winds of the West and is he who again it's about feelings and emotions now people uh, some people are concerned about why they call they call some diseases cancer and uh, it, you know people who are born under the sign feel badly about that but if you if you look at who came up with this term it was um, uh, in the person from then they take the uh, Hippocratic oath um, Hipp Hippocrates uh, he uh, is you know he he said it meant crab, but he, they knew all about this zodiac from 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 Egypt. They knew all about it back then. And if you want to understand, it's obviously you know since it rules the breasts and home and hearth and family and motherhood and all that, you know that nurturing that that nursing kind of thing. You know it, it it's not hard to figure out why somebody who might have an issue with his mom <laughs> might might make. Uh, that attribute into something bad so that you know maybe he felt bad about his relationship with his mother that's that's probably what happened and what, what you want to understand is that uh, there's always something good in any situation the good book says the Bible says that all things all things work to good for those who love God and serve his purpose so if you want to understand it more you could read uh, C.S. Lewis, uh, he has books, Mere Christianity, and there's, there's a, a part of that book called Men Without Chests. All right, now, regarding your love, rapture, and romance tr transmission, the, the amber angelic light frequencies of Muriel combined with encouraging therapeutic resonance, uh, this is amber, a pyramid here, 
and it's flickering towards a deluxe, genuinely sympathetic, genuinely sympathetic inner and outer curative tonics. It exudes gemstone beams of light and throwing to the eye from the gemstone of sapphire, exciting your romantic ambitions through delightful blessings given forth from September's mercurial. Mention it's going to be very mercurial angelic realms. In the itinerary of this birthstone's lavish as well as restorative healing and brilliant qualities. Magical energies of a of a truthful permutation of Zodiac Angel Hamaliel's natural sixth house attributes, in addition to your own cancer energies bestows to you a vibrant reward beaming towards seeing fresh ideas come to fruition as well as continuing and more fortunate omens in the distant roads ahead. Dazzling means of accomplishment are the resource of the traditional zodiac sign of Virgo, the Virgin, for the point of charismatic, thrilling ways to work for increased enlightenment of humanity. Also, an increase of cooperative sparkling of precise light that fills any hunger with an atmosphere of inspired happiness, granting impetus for remedies of both spirit and matter, calling upon new intentions, becoming uh, sort of it. it it lures and it beckons forth from a gem which shines captivating yet practical abilities for the owner of such a gemstone through the mercurially affected vortex centers of the throat chakra, the invisible sector of the at, the high heart and solar plexus chakras. These attributes thus produce copious amounts of happiness throughout rejuvenation of one's holy guardian angel granting attainment of upper planes of existence allowed through use of higher sensory apparatus during various ultra-dimensional and interdimensional or intradimensional communications made cogent through a, a balancing association uh, and, a, and a harmonizing of various correspondences with mercurial throat chakra thyroid gland attributes as well as the high heart thymus gland or upper solar plexus also uh, that's the, the upper the upper solar plexus is uh, an, more of a, a adrenal gland the, the upper solar plexus chakra adrenal gland and the lower solar plexus uh, chakra pancreas gland and it functions and awareness that's your ductless glands willpower through throat chakra self-determination and, and it's really a vigorous intelligence and upper and lower solar plexus qualities of ego health activates sephiroth of mercurial potency within hode now understand these here the here and here and here and here here these these circles the, these are the sephira and there's paths between paths between these these sephira the pathways go between and you'll notice this this is these sephira are this is hode where you have Mercury, where you have the gods Thoth and 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 this is Thoth, Thoth, and where you have the Archangel Raphael, Archangel Raphael, and where you have Saint Paul, or Hermes Trismegistus, the god Mercury. It's a hologram. It's a holographic universe. That's the teaching of the Zohar and Kabbalah. So these, this is Marshal Gibura here which you know this is where you get the passion the venusian beauty in 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 the in net sack and you get accomplishment and you have your you know from this you can create sephirotic magical currents and talismans of charm for love magic which is effective when influenced through mercurial qualities of intelligence especially in september you get the intelligence coming in and self-reliance expressed in goddesses or gods you know, of thinking minds, transportation, communication, being tricksters within the Sephir of Hode. Remember, there's going to be tricksters in Hode, named classically as Hermes Trismegistus, both the Archangel Raphael and the Apostle Paul, again included in performance of ritual ceremonial magic. So, these, these mercurial beings are, some would say that they're there are certain uh, gods and goddesses of various pantheons, and some would say there are various aspects of the one God, and you can look at it any way you want. You can always bring any, anything together to be one. You can always 
separated and, and segregated into various different types of, of energies and frequencies and then bring it back together of one you know as one and if you if you you know segregate things too much you end up with where everything's so far apart it looks like there's nothing but there's always there's always something to find because life life exists life is the constant life is stronger than than death and the opposite of death is not life the opposite of death is sex because sex is what causes death to occur according to Kabbalah now from Muriel's uh, money and wealth transmission knowledge and conversation that we're talking about with one's holy guardian angel as well as meticulous familiarity with the tree of such knowledge of good and evil is the name of the game when the Sun unites forces with mercury while transiting through zodiac angel Hamaliel's mercurial angelic realm filling the mind with interesting problem-solving abilities exotic financial instruments become available to heal any economic situation and one may heal you know anything and, and improve now financial institutions as well as businesses understand that their vitality is better when those whom they serve are better valued cheering on service to others daily disciplines and health through superior communication when soul transits through natural six house frequencies where Archangel Raphael again and the zodiac angel Hamaliel, Raphael being for Mercury and, and Hamaliel being for Virgo, which rules, uh, Mercury rules Virgo, oversee activity bringing mental acuity and enlightenment into unconscious portions of the mind, allowing clear visions of God's great universe. Those desiring better financial health gain much from efforts born of good habits and attention to economic fitness, finding good reward, pretending to life's necessities, affording basic needs to everyone because of clear minds, able to consider meaningful and well thought through plans. New ideas are brought forth only after current projects are completed. Cash boosters for novel enterprises increase in importance, significant especially for those people who have done their homework, granting profound knowledge about financial dealing done for the good of all. Significant monetary gratification becomes a result of helping others by truly wishing them well when others take proper care of one's self. So they have to take care of themselves, you take care of yourself, and then that way you're, you'll feel better about other people you won't you won't you'll wish them well if you've taken care of yourself because it's your feelings that matter according to the Zohar according to Kabbalah how you feel not what you do you have to feel good about other people for good things to happen to them so take care of yourself so that you can feel good about them Kabbalistic theory states that how one how one is is feeling is is not only going to affect other people but it's going to affect the environmental conditions more than any action taken therefore it stands to reason again that by making sure that you you keep yourself in proper well-being and proper condition and proper mental emotional spiritual and physical health and cultivate that wellness keeps conditions very prosperous and abundant as well as pleasant when sincere well-wishing is attained in human relationships then tranquility and affluence are sure to be the outcomes again this information is in the Zohar is from Kabbalah now is the time for paying attention to one's daily schedules habits and routines and this is a very important book this is uh, the secret inner order rituals of the golden dawn and it is uh, with the approval of Israel Regardi with the approval of Israel Rigardi this is a very important book more of the esoteric really deep dark secrets I mean you know I meant that um, sort of in an entertaining well be way because the the Golden Dawn is really about white magic it's about good magic but you have to understand the dark side understand the shadow side before you can really fill all that with the light of the Creator so it's about bringing goodness and it's all again in one's own Self. It's not to condemn other people. It's to, it's to make yourself the best you can be, and that's the key. Now is the time for for you know going ahead and and really understanding how there's mentors and and gurus and all kinds of people and 
different different pastors and priests and clergy who can help you during six house considerations of the natural house of Virgo the Virgin with strong mercurial willpower making one able towards evoking great knowledge from storehouses of angelic realms keeping everyone educated healthy and performing at their best connecting to one's own personal money gnome and the Kabbalistic sephira of Jupiterian Chesed and Venusian Netzach over here on the masculine side of the tree where Venus is because the God energy runs through the, the female body and these are important sephira for income creation and money magic techniques being abundant sources of money from where economic health is sophisticated through making communication entertaining, interesting, and problem solving. And, and, and this will encourage expedient vocations uh, through doing what one loves. Plant a lime seed and, and get a lime tree. And that's the obvious product of the world of Isaiah. Isaiah down in Malkuth, having the throne of Malka, the bride of the king, creating his kingdom in Malkuth, begotten from excellent craftsmanship of good luck charms, made with artistically precise skill, far ahead of the comprehension of most beings brought to earth through etheric plane understanding. And it results from a focus uh, uh, on earthly talents dealing with friendly magical elementals upon which all magicians and adepts must rely but remember uh, we had mentioned that we uh, had been sharing uh, Mr. J uh, James J. Trace's uh, book Don't Stop Your Mind because he mentions m what he calls Mushin Consciousness where you focus not only on where your feet are standing but on hearing uh, you know the the wind or the birds that kind where you're focusing on it's called double attention and that's when you're centered and and you're you're you can't really get uh, into trouble when you're in that mentality and you have a peripheral vision where you don't focus your eyes but you like more of a peripheral vision uh, that, that you engage at that time so that's a, a very important book uh, now the Wizards and wizardresses, remember, adepts are going to rely on the friendly magical elementals like the gnomes and the sylphs and the undines uh, and, and the uh, salamanders. So when you invoke these, these beings into your sacred spaces, your, your fashioned sacred spaces or your magical circles, the energies of the Sephir of Bena appear in the top three supernals. This is where Mother Mary resides, where Saturnine intelligences, angels, and divine names are assigned in Kabbalah to characteristics such as hermetically sealing great power, which when released, then manifests wondrous modes of increasing opportunities for healing one's finances or keeping them fit if one is paying attention. Discipline, intelligence, and steadfast care wins every time, particularly when astrological progressions call for combining moonstones and pearls or ruby with sapphire. So, you know, you have your, your ruby, the Zara ruby, and you have your, your sapphire uniting astrology, archangelic forces known to Muriel and Himalaya, which entices customers and clients through precision, impressive communication techniques, and also a really reserved form of magnetism that lures in and and this is in the theaters of health and fitness and and even managerial talent as well as helping uh, or 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 service type oriented occupations sustaining a great zest for life is important if one wants to keep mental acuity high so that quality of life is kept high at at at, at really high uh, prosperous levels of stratification ample knowledge is released when the sun is transiting through natural sixth house attributes granting an essential sense of routine disciplines as well as reason for the granting one his or her own self-reliance and your happiness and your fulfillment and a cheerfully calm disposition born of intelligence enlightenment is generated from self-actualization performing a technique of money magic appropriate for one's own culture heritage and religious upbringing healthy economic practices prove fruitful now watch this let's look at Romans the book of Romans chapter 13 verse 8 in the Webster Bible translation we read oh no man anything but to love one another for he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law 
the throat chakra, high heart, and upper and lower solar plexus chakras are revitalized, immersed in cool, soothing blue sapphire light, and synchronized during this time, principally when good fiscal health inspires luscious environments and innovative imagination are the ambitions desired with September's gemstone bestowing a frequency of well-being and goodly portion of financial opportunities through which one may then flourish. Muriel's health and fitness transmission, again with the help of the Archangel Gabriel, health matters improved tremendously because of increased intelligence from mercurial aspects unleashed during September's hosting of soul. That's the sun. It's Latin for the sun. Triumph is yours through knowing and using the medicine of metals along with alchemical gemstone array strategies made with precision instruments in the hands of stunningly sleek as well as noble beatific craftspersons. For indeed, what organization can thrive without reliance upon those who form and shape the very structures upon which you lean, sell products, indeed the very structures in which you live, brought into pristine consciousness throughout this astrological, astrological um, progression or cosmological evolution of the sun through the natural sixth house of service, health, and daily routines and habits during this month of September contributing unique cosmological convergence arrays by cleansing as well as harmonizing of the throat high heart upper and lower solar plexus chakras throat or fifth chakra is analogous to invisible sephira of da'ath involving the thyroid gland through expression of personal resolve through determined forceful tone tempered with Christ's humility and submission to Father God Creator, Holy Spirit filled speech is the key. Upper fourth or high heart chakra, uh, these, these organs and ductless glands are going to secrete very healthful hormones such as thymusin from the thymus gland. Structures give immune system good function. It's in the high heart, typhera, and, and helping with immune strengthening T cells which, which when one is over 10 years old might begin to decline if proper chakra balancing exercises are not done throughout one's lifetime. A book I just can't live without is called Ancient Secret of the Fountain of Youth by Peter Kelder. I keep giving, buying it and giving it away to friends who need it. That's why I don't have it to show you at the moment, but I'm going to purchase another one. And also, uh, it's also very important to get, this is a, an older copy of Heal Your Life by Louise Hay, Heal, I'm sorry, Heal Your Body by Louise Hay, Heal Your Body by Louise Hay, you see I've, I've uh, had to tape it, I use it so much, I've bought that and given it away to many people many times, but I, I, I keep giving them the new copies, but these are, these are all books you just can't do without, they're great books, they, they're, they're really wonderful books. Now, Regarding the ancient secret, uh, ancient secret of the fountain of youth by Peter Kelder, there's a second volume now too, describes regaining youth using an ancient Tibetan system of yoga called the Six Tibetan Rites, of which only five are well known due to extreme austerity necessary in keeping a heretofore veiled potent six rite discipline esoteric. Such practices are really good for your meridian system it'll keep you in tip-top shape and that way it'll rejuvenate your health and your usefulness upper and lower solar plexus ductless glands include the adrenals and the pancreas which are also strengthened and revitalized using Tibetan yoga rites all are stimulated when soul transits natural six health frequencies where throat uh, chakra enlivens one's sephrotic vortex centers of the ath or knowledge High heart as well as upper and lower solar plexus chakra activation happens during this progression that involves the sephira of Typhereth, which encompasses the soul of the heart and the ego of the solar plexus chakras. Fundamental awareness of one's true will leads to good adherence really of biological law and it'll be an organized and an accurate cellular task functioning towards vital health. A wonderful comforting balancing and therapeutic focus occur during September when one impresses one's personal morphogenic field with an objective towards healing brought into reality 
holding firmly to universal laws. Follow this in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19 to 20 of the New Heart English Bible. Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit, which is in you, which you have from God? You are not your own, for you were bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body. Now the New English, uh, New sorry, New Heart English Bible is in public domain as well as the Webster's Bible translation is in public domain. Webster Bible translation. Now, light-hearted. Oh, by the way, the the New Heart English Bible is edited by Wayne A. Mitchell, and and it's been in public domain since 2008 to the present day. So uh, a really light-hearted, a lighter heart, and your disciplines. It's it's important to remember to be light-hearted about your disciplines in September and the I Ching method of chakra healing this portion of the year is going to be very significant for healing the organs of the throat and the chest and the upper arm stomach as well as ductless glands already mentioned while cleansing soothing and harmonizing natural sixth house qualities being that September's zodiac sign of Virgo's ruling planet Mercury which is concerned with the Archangel Raphael Again, the Archangel Raphael with the god Mercury and Hermes Trismegistus and also Thoth, the god Thoth, Thoth the Atlantean. The Egyptian god Thoth, also Thoth the, the Atlantean because there's a connection between Atlantis and Egypt, as you probably well know. Uh, it's also called the Divine Physician. And this will bless the ten Kabbalistic Sephirotic dimensions, plus bringing new awareness into the eleventh invisible Sephira of Da'ath. And that function will harness otherworldly dimensions, plus bringing new awareness of, of sort of otherworldly uh, dimensions congruent with annihilation of the ego. Incorporation of the entire range of energetic frequencies of moonstone or pearls for the moon, ruby for cancer, and sapphire for Virgo brings really a, a service to others and as, as well as discipline for your, your daily ha habits and your routines during September, causing you to become even much more able to reach your goals and, and, and be capable of helping others at the same time. Uh, people are helpful and, and they'll bring you good opportunities during this time and healthy environments as well as stored up treasures from tireless giving and your tireless uh, bestowal and those kind of attributes of your nature as well as also your intelligence that people appreciate in the natural sixth house attributes of service and health and self-control in daily routines granting patience and that's accentuated using September's gemstones as well as those corresponding to the planet Mercury. Your throat, high heart, upper and lower solar plexus chakras are measured to be of enormous import throughout natural six house solar transits for the function of establishing rich treasures in heaven leading to establishment of Christ's kingdom here on earth transfiguring our earthly bodies into our glorified bodies in Christ Jesus our Lord. Christ demonstrated his body of light in Matthew 17 that's chapter 17 verse 2 in the Webster Bible translation we read and he was transfigured before them and his face shone as the sun and his raiment was white as the light astrocartographic arrangements currently as well as at birth must be revealed of a holistic style of unveiling one's inner nature is truly desired the disclaimers in order here high magic should be used with all mindfulness since powerful forces of manifestation are unleashed this is intended exclusively for entertainment purposes. Remember to chant your divine tone of I feel or try out the higher aspect of simply meditating on the quality of feeling and be wise, be well, be all you are meant to be, Cancer. Information found in this document is based on the oral tradition known as Kabbalah, taught to me by Rosicrucian clergy when I was but a young girl, the facts of which I have committed to memory. Thank you for joining us and please join us again.